the crescent of the sun upon the crescent of the moon. First letter, the beginning of the heavens and the earth. A story swelling, even now the crowning of the womb, the blush of such a rush of love's, of love's creation in the words. You heard me slough a couple letters there. I'm just stoned and tired. So my mom just meshes me. Sounds like I think the demonic storm has passed. She's become a little more found her equilibrium again. It's difficult, and because I can't nip it completely in the bud, it's always going to sort of resurface like a cancer. But if it ceases to rear its ugly head, you know, it's it feels like it's bitten me back. It's it's sort of barked me back like some sort of hound of hell, then then peace returns. You know, and I the thing is is I I have no ac I have no axe, I have no dog in that fight necessarily. And to keep the dog my dogs out of that fight. I mean I've my mom can push me and I will go dog for dog with her and then that's the end of that relationship for several years. So uh, I want to avoid that as much as I possibly can because when you get yourself into that, even if you feel justified, you feel like you've lost. You, you find yourself, oh fuck, I let myself get provoked again. But not all was lost. I'm not saying it, I was even wrong at the end to do it. It was that the situation was so wrong, it didn't really matter if you're right. And that's an awful thing to go through. The crescent of the sun upon the crescent of the moon. First letter, the beginning of the heavens and the earth. A story swelling, even now, the crowning of the womb, a blush of such a rush of love's creation. In the words, it's at the beginning of the poem, it's just late in the day, and I'm going to move on in a second. Once I've got myself stoned and the rest of my barbecue, my antibiotic-free barbecue chicken, try to get some fucking calories in me. And uh, the sun has got its demonic haze, as you can see. They just can't fucking stop with their haze, eh? I'm gonna find my heaven where I can. I dare say I'm not gonna be able to defeat chemtrails in my lifetime. It's a good thing I have a more than a, a lifetime contract with existing. I have more than a lifetime. I have life. And life will get rid of them when people learn. You know, when demonic energy hits the world, it does all kinds of awful shit, but it also creates education. And in my heaven, no matter what evil does, it will always tell us more about what it is and what it isn't. And if we listen, we'll get our will back. <laughs> that's my, that's my uh, prognosis and that's my prescription for the race of man, or what's left of them, and so for the human race, I should say. And that's it. And, you know, good luck. Good luck finding someone <coughs> who wants to do that. So, if, even if i am just got my own particular delusion in a world full of delusions, and I'm in a world full of cults, and I've got a really bad cult because I'm some impotent man who just can't handle being around other people's cults because he's either too self-important, not submissive enough, or just too weak to fit into the stronger, popular herd around me, which even I don't believe. <laughs> even my enemies wouldn't believe. In fact, I don't think they would behave the way they did if they actually did. They would just, you know, you would, evil would just leave me alone. I'd be, you know, just leave that guy alone, man. He's like, he's not going to do anything. He's fucking impotent. <laughs> right? the, crow doesn't, the crow doesn't believe that. You know, I think if I fuck someone, children would be born. You know, my dick would come in, go in, and nine months later, a child would come out. Now, that makes it sound like I'm the only one doing any work there, but that's my prerogative as a 45-year-old single virgin but who lives with his mother, you know, that my dick is so powerful that it could just go somewhere and nine months later, a baby would come out. But that's, that's not the whole story, isn't it? Is it? You know, no one ever told me about the birds and the bees. In fact, I don't think anyone learns about the birds and the bees anymore because... It's got to make sense to this poem, and I can't find a fucking person other than my YouTube channel to, to listen to this type of thing. I don't even want to call it alchemy. It's, it's like the language of a life I, that I dare say I, I, I'm never going to agree to leave. And every single person I meet just wants to bring me out of that life, it seems.
you know, they don't speak the language. You know, when you go somewhere where they don't speak the language, what happens? You sort of get pulled out of your language, right? You have to struggle to speak their language. And so all these cults, they have their own languages, but they're, they're all the same. It doesn't matter if you speak 12 languages or 20, it's all demonic. <laughs> and believe me, I don't want to speak your language. I don't speak any language anyone speaks. So there's no point in learning any of them. And I speak it all too well, because there's something about the demonic that says, yeah, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, you piece of shit. <laughs> right? You know, you know, you're just actually like the rest of us, you're just a fucking loser, just like me, come on. Right? Sociopaths are just like lifelong, lifetime alcoholics. Come on, you know you're a loser. I'm a loser, you're a loser, we're all a loser. Come on, man, fuck you. Huh? Get with it. Get with, get with the racket. The I'm a loser, you're a loser racket. <laughs> it's like, no, no thanks. I, I know am I some dandified invert, dandified invert who just speaks some sort of spurious and specious popular vernacular. You know? Dress a certain way, talk a certain way. <laughs> Walk like an Egyptian, do, do, do. And it makes it look like they're walking stupid, right? But everyone's walking like an Egyptian because they're all under an Egyptian spell. It's a great jip, isn't it? And what's at the center of that jip? The Y. And what does the Y symbolize? The eyes. It's all a jip on the eye of man, right? That's your eye at the top of the pyramid. If you're looking at it and you're not saying, hey, that's mine, then you're fucked. And it's like, Ewas is about getting more of the restorative immunology of the Son of Man to flow through our veins, to bring us back to life. It's sort of like bringing something frozen, because the devil freezes you. People, children freeze in their brain. Psychopaths have frozen parts of their brain. They just freeze, right? And so, you know, you'll notice with a sociopath, if you have an emotional body, there's just this, like, you enter some frozen realm. It's like, don't expect anything from me, I'm frozen. But it doesn't matter because I'm like the most amazing person ever. <laughs> Let me tell you. Right? Don't worry. You don't have to think. I'll do your thinking for you. I know what you're worth. Come on. Who? <laughs> I'll never. I'll never let you fly like the eagles. I eat eagles. I eat eagles for breakfast. <laughs> oh boy, they do take a lot of time. You know, and they just fade into the sepia tones and think. You know, I'd rather just believe they were my friends. I'd rather believe there's something competent going on, but. You don't go into a leper colony and think someone's going to be able to give you a, you know, a facial or give you great advice on, on skin care. And, uh, you know, these people may be able to do a lot, but advice on mental hygiene is not one of them. And I dare say, with all that they claim to do, they should, they should start really at the beginning again. <laughs> That's where I'm beginning, at the beginning. And they claim to do so much, but they can't even do one thing competently. Look around you. 